right. Good morning. May the Lord bless your heart real good. God bless you real good. Once again, this is the servant of Jesus Christ, Robert Dunlap. Hallelujah. Now, God sent his son, Jesus Christ, into the world to take away all your sin. The sin you walk around talking about you got. Jesus came to take him away. Hallelujah. He gave it life so your sin can be taken away. His blood shed it so your sin can be taken away. Matthew chapter 26, his blood, the New Testament, for the remission of your sin. Mm -hmm. Luke 24, chapter 47, repentance and remission of sin, he told us to preach. That's why I'm saying Christ came to take away your sin. Hallelujah. Act 238. For the remission of sin. Act 317, 18, 19, somewhere in there. Uh, 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 that your sin may be blotted out. You repent. Repent of your sin. Turn to Jesus. Believe him will take away your sin. Call on Jesus. Romans 10, 13. Mm -hmm. First John chapter number 1. His blood is for the cleansing and taking away of your sin. You know when something clean, it ain't dirty no more. Hallelujah. That's what we preach. All right, let me go right to work. Now God raised Jesus from the dead. He's not dead, children. He's alive right now. And on the right hand of the Father. All right, he's coming back again now. Be ready now. If you're not ready, you're going to be lost. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All right. Jesus Christ told his preachers, his ministers, his servants, and I am one of them. To speak against you, church of God and Christ, bishops and pastors and holiness and apostolic and Baptist and men, Jesus told us to speak against you. Speak against you. He said, beware false prophet. And by God, in order to beware, we got to say, beware, that's a false prophet. I don't care if your name church of God in Christ with a puppet shirt. I don't care if you Baptist, Apostolic. I don't care if you uh, uh, Episcopal and Lutheran and non denomination Christ said, beware. In order to beware, uh, you know when some beware. Beware of dog. You better be well. You better let them alone. Now Jesus told us to be well for all prophet. We got to point you. Be well. That's a fall prophet. Uh -huh. Jesus told me to rebuke even you that deceive. That have got all track. In the church of God and Christ, Baptist, Medellin, and all the other. Jesus told me to rebuke you. Hallelujah. Remember the churches in the book of Revelation? Jesus came and rebuked them and told them to repent. Jesus told me to rebuke you, Pastor. I know you don't like it, you're a hypocrite. Jesus told me to rebuke you so you won't be a hypocrite. Jesus told me to rebuke you, Pastor. Rebuke you, Bishop. Rebuke you, Elder. So you what? So you will be sound. You can't be sound. You go walking in error and walking in lie. Yeah. He told us 
to rebuke you. Not only Satan, the Lord rebuke you, but Bishop, the Lord rebuke you. Apostle, Church of God in Christ, Baptist, Methodist, Apostolic, Christ, Christian. The Lord rebuke you. Jesus told us to rebuke you. Just like Jesus rebuked Peter. That was for that was for a reason. It's a reason for us rebuking you. So you will be sound. So you will be sound. It's a reason for you being chest tied. Whom he loved and he chased. We got to rebuke you so you will be sound. We got, we're told to rebuke the bishops, rebuke the elders. Even though they're appointed, rebuke them. When they get off, rebuke them. So that you will be sound. Try to make it sound, bitch. A, a woman years ago got mad at me. She said, oh, I spoke against a poor apostle. Oh, you correct apostles. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I'm told to correct them. Can't no but another apostle correct an apostle. You lying demon, you. You ain't no apostle. Just for making that statement, you ain't no apostle. When correction comes, correction comes. It's not the vessel. Correction comes from Jesus Christ. What matter with you? You crazy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I don't have a beam in my eye or a mode in my eye so I can see clearly how to correct you and rebuke you. We rebuke you so you'll be sound. You ain't, you ain't sound now. That's why we got to come against you and rebuke you. Your members don't like it. Many, many fell out with me. How dare you talk to your pastor? What? What? The Gia told us to talk against him. Beware, fall problem. Now, most pastors know better. Especially you in the sanctified circle, your pastor know better. I don't care if you don't, I don't care if you don't never say nothing. In the church of God in Christ, some of them bishops is dying 80 years old, 70 years old. They know better. They know better than to bring a false prophet among us. They know better than to get up and tell you God said so and see you for a miracle. They know better than that. They know better than a child that ready to straight to feed the hill preacher. If you can't, if you don't have the feet, you can't come. They know better than that. They know better than to say nobody without sin. They know better. Did a tell a lie about tithing and offering still required. They know better than the same nobody in public. They know better. Therefore, we are to rebuke you. Praise it. They know better to say Jesus Christ not the Son of God. God himself came down. They know better. Therefore, we're to rebuke you. Now, outright fault probably don't matter. Mm. You mills of Jesus Christ. You know better. You backslid. Because you want to be with the world. Because you want to be popular. You were tired of being criticized and ostracized in the black sheep of the religious family. You want to be with the world. You want to be with Hollywood. You want the government to give you money. You want to be in corporate America so you can't preach nothing now and you got along with everybody else. And you turn Catholic. Get your Bible and go to the book of Titus. Chapter 1. 
chapter 1 and verse number 5. Hallelujah. Listen to what the apostle said. For this cause I left thee in Crete, that thou shouldest set in order the thing that I wanted. It's a need. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't care what you said. You need a preacher to teach you sound doctrine. You need someone to teach you sound doctrine. That's lacking, so you need a preacher. And in your churches, some of you got a church full of members and a whole rostrum of elders, and you lacking a preacher. They're going to preach sound doctrine. So, 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 so we got to set some up. Matter of fact, God already set them up and he gave some. Apostle probably Patty the Evangelist teacher. For this cause I left thee in Crete, that thou shouldest set in order the thing that I wanted, and ordain elders in every city as I have appointed thee. Appoint. Elder, el now, the, now, the, now the elders must be already elders before you appoint them. Listen, if any be blamed, you got to be blamed. You can't be walking. But if, well, listen to me. Any elder that, that get up and say, ain't nothing on that sin, you're not blaming. You don't qualify to be an elder. In the elder that say, we all got tears, ain't nobody public, you ain't no elder. You don't even qualify. Because you got to say what Jesus said. Didn't Jesus wash your sin away? Didn't Christ make you perfect in the taking away of your sin? That's what I'm talking about, in the taking away of your sin. Listen, look. I got a mission too. That's not perfect, but that's not sin. I had to have read glasses. That's not perfect, but that's not sin. Talk ain't nobody got no heavy hell to put you in. Hallelujah. Uh, you don't qualify to be an elder. You ain't no bishop. Read this book. We in Titus chapter what? Verse 6, if it be blameless. That, that knocked most of y'all right there. Some of you never repent. Or never, never. All you that told a lie at the beginning of 2020, talking about 2020 vision and how good it's going to be, all of y'all, and all y'all need to repent. You're not blaming. You lie. You are a liar. And you ain't repenting yet. You being a false prophet of manga, you're not blameless. You're no better. These seven, eight year old big presiding bishop, uh, jurisdiction bishop, it was a it was a false prophet, a known false prophet at, at the at the assembly that I attend. I was there. Known false prophet, Martin Johnson. And the bishop brought him there. The, the Bible say, if they don't bring this doctor, don't let them in your house. And that clown played, I'm talking about knowing somebody, people a hundred dollars. Played all kind of money games in the church. And he a pre and the bishop got him up preaching. And he won't be sound. In the convocation, Zion Bishop got false prophet. No. In your church, no false prophets. That's not for your money. No, I, I ain't talking no booty Christian. I talk among you. <sighs> if it be blame it, the hub of the one wife, you can't have no two or three wives. Having faithful children, not accused of riot or unruly. Your, your children got to be in all. Now, if your grown children ain't in your house, that's the well, that's another story. Come on. 
Boy, a bitch above me blamed You ain't blamed You hypocrite, you. Anytime everybody speak anything or trade of this is not blameless. Not self-will. You all about self. Not soon angry. Why are you getting mad all of a sudden? Pray to God. Now I'm going to get out of here too. Not giving the wine. You, what you doing drunk? No striker. What you doing hitting folks in their eyes? Not giving the field to Luca. You know that knocks all y'all out. That read that that's why because of money is reading all the money game being played in the church. For field to Luca. And that read the pastor bring your pastor and my pastor and your bishop and presiding bishop of your organization bring for prophet among us for field to Luca. They split the money. A love of hospitality. Love of good men. And you love and fall proper. Sober. Just. Holy. Temperate. Holding fast the faithful word as he had been taught. He allowed you to love your teacher. You know the old pioneer didn't teach you this mess. They taught the word and you left it. Holding fast to the faith word that he had been taught. The words you've been taught. Not what Bishop said. That he may be able with sound doctrine. Watch this. Both to exhort. And I. that's why I'm exhorting you now. And I told me not God have men in ministry. I told me not because I'm talking to you. That's why we exhort you now. To be holy and to be sound. That he may be able with sound doctrine both to exhort and we exhort you to be holy. Preach right, teach right. Let the false prophet be a curse. Bishop, don't bring no false prophet among us. Bishop, don't you lie and say God says so see. Don't lie about tithes and offering, Bishop, saying it's still required by God. And many other things. Both with sound do with doctrine to exhort and convince the gainsayer. We gotta convince you. Don't you know you you ain't right, man? Don't you know that? I, I, I remember a couple of months ago somebody came on and they got upset with me trying to justify false prophet that prophesied lie and, and, and they went to the Bible and told a lie. Say Samuel uh, missed God seven times when he went to anoint David. And I did a post and went and went to that, that story and Samuel did not miss God. They tried to justify Paul prophet. I told somebody I didn't know Bible say that and they got mad at me. God know. Hallelujah. So I'm getting mad. You believe that guy's great? Ah, Lord. Ah. I, I, we going to preach to God. We, we got to stop your mouth. For a purpose now. For there are many unruly, vain talkers, deceivers, especially they are the circumcision, the Jews. And you, and, you, and you ain't even Jew and you tell it for to keep the law to be saved who mouth must be stopped we gotta stop your mouth for a purpose who subvert whole houses to see I've seen saints I know a saint they said oh uh, when y'all do y'all program, I support all y'all. What I believe y'all or not, I still support y'all. What kind of stuff is that? They know these folks lying. They subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not, for filthy lucre's sake, for money's sake, for money's sake.
one of themselves, even a prophet of their own. Yeah, we call we call name. Said the creatures are always lying as evil beasts and slow bellies. This which is the truth. Wherefore rebuke them sharply for what purpose? That they may be sound in the faith. That's why we rebuke you so so bishop, so you can be sound. Not giving heed to Jewish fable, commanding the men that turn from the truth. You turn from the truth. That's why we rebuke you, so you will be sound. It's where you won't turn from the truth. We'll leave it there. You understand. God, 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 God told us to rebuke you for a purpose. And as I said so often, you all the elite teach the, look, a lot of y'all know y'all leaders. I say y'all, I say Jesus. Y'all leaders. You know they wrong. You all at least teach the people. Yeah, Bishop is wrong. He wrong. He wrong. Uh-huh. Yeah, put him on put him on to the side. Put him on to the side. Hallelujah. Then then you got to preach in public. You got to preach sound doctrine to the whole congregation. To everybody hear you. So they don't know what sound doctrine is. You got to teach the whole congregation so they don't know. These bishops and things, they, they've been, they been back slid years ago for money. And all this anointing and Holy Ghost and ain't nobody saying that. They ain't even teaching the people. Don't be like Bishop. Don't you be like him. Uh huh. Let's leave you right there. God told us. Jesus told us. Beware of all prophet. So we got to tell you what to beware of. Jesus said, blind, lead the blind. At one point, Jesus said, leave them alone. We ain't got to be going back and forth arguing with you. Leave them alone. Praise God. I, I, I had someone to, 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 to help me and correct me. They say, done that? Leave this certain, leave certain, this certain individual alone. You ain't get no well. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. <laughs> you ain't keep preaching. Leave them alone. All right. That's enough of that. You understand it for a purpose, so you will be sound. You bishop need to come back to God. You serve a Christian need to return to God. Sound dog, that's why he raised us up. So you will be sound. <laughs> All right, thank you for being. Excuse me. Cool.